Secretary General of the World. Well. President, how are you doing, Thank sir? Thank you very much. Uh, the ex Senator is another one. That's good. Great sir. job. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, everybody. Sit down, please. Oh, wow, I like that even better. Come on, get up here with me, everybody. That's, I like that. I heard about this. Wow. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm bringing you greetings on behalf of our Honorable Mayor, Mayor Christina Reed, you, yes. and all the men and women of the Dallas Fire Rescue Department. We'd like to present you with a token of our appreciation. That is beautiful. I think I should leave it right here. That's all right. <laughs> Fits so well. Thank you. Man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, come here. I didn't know I was going to get such a nice. That's good. Hi, man. Yes, that's okay. That is fantastic. Thank you. How are you? It's fine, sir. We're going to go around and introduce ourselves, okay? We'll do this first. You know these folks back here, they're very famous. Most of them, it's called the media. <laughs> they're very honorable people. But you're more honorable, I can tell you that. Thank you, sir. So I'm honored to be here with you today and welcome you to the White House. The heroes who responded to the terrible bridge collapse on I-85 two weeks ago in Atlanta. That was something. It was, uh, the whole world was watching that one. Today we're joined by members of the Georgia State Patrol, the Atlanta Fire Rescue Department, and the Atlanta Police Department. Great people. On that day, Georgia State Police and Atlanta Police took fast action to get motorists away from danger. Then our brave firefighters battled 40-foot flames, which was incredible. What was the reason for those flames? It was uh, something underneath that just was very combustible. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, those flames were amazing. They pulled back by battalion chiefs, and just minutes before the bridge itself collapsed, and everybody was safe. That was an amazing thing, and everybody was watching. Your skill and courage saved many lives and represented true strength and the true strength of America. Really great job. I was proud of you. Great job. To the people of Georgia who are affected by the collapse, my administration stands with you. We've already made a $10 million emergency relief funds available. And I called your governor, who I know very well, who's a terrific guy, and I approved it literally the day that it happened. I had a feeling you'd need a little money, because <laughs> that looked like a big money deal, right, Elaine? But I approved it immediately, and Elaine took care of it, and uh, uh, we gave fast action. What happened in Atlanta is a painful reminder of the critical importance of infrastructure, which we're going to be doing a lot with infrastructure. You'll be seeing that over the coming weeks, tremendous amount. I'm committed to funding a massive nationwide infrastructure program to rebuild, repair, and construct the roads and bridges of the future of this country. This is necessary as a matter of both safety and economic growth, and it's necessary to improve our quality of life as Americans. We will also continue to seek proper funding for law enforcement and public safety in our country. On behalf of the entire nation, I salute you. You're really amazing people. And I honor your service. I pledge that you will have the support of our country, the police, the firefighters, first responders. You will always have the support of President Trump. I think you know that very well. And I thank you for the great job and the fast action. Really fantastic, a lot of bravery. Maybe we could just go around and introduce yourselves and who knows, maybe you become, you become a movie star after performance, <laughs> you become a movie star. If they like the way you look or sound, you'll become a star. Go ahead. Well, thank you again, sir. My name is Joel Baker, Fire Chief with the City of Atlanta Fire Rescue Department. And how tall are you, Joe? I'm 6'6", six, six, sir. That's all? I thought it was much more than that. I think you, I think you're taller than that. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Go ahead. I'm Trooper Thomas Burkett with the Georgia State Patrol. And I'm Sergeant Ryan Heald from the Atlanta Police Department. I'm Battalion Chief James McLemore from the Atlanta Fire Rescue Department. I'm Trooper John Jensen with the Georgia State Patrol. I'm Sergeant Anthony Campbell, Atlanta Fire Rescue Airport Division. I'm Senior Police Officer Michael Baker from the Atlanta Police Department. Elaine Cow, Secretary of Transportation. <laughs> Chad Mark Bradley, Atlanta Fire Rescue Department. I am Chief of Harold C. with the Georgia State Patrol. Trooper First Class, Kendall McCoy, Georgia State Patrol. I'm Tom Bosser, I'm the President's Homeland Security Advisor. 
Lieutenant Chief Douglas Hatcher, Atlanta Fire Rescue Department. Sergeant First Class Thomas Custer, Georgia State Patrol. Assistant Chief of Atlanta Police Department, Rodney Bryant. Great, Rodney. Well, thank you very much. So, who's the bravest person in this room? That's what I want to know. Raise your hands if you're the bravest person. Huh? Maybe it's. Uh, <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. Oh, no, go ahead. Uh, Sergeant First Class John Cronin, uh, Georgia State Patrol. Great. Officer Ryan Severance with the Atlanta Police Department. Great. Elaine, would you like to say something? Mr. President, arrayed beside you and around you are true heroes of our country. They demonstrate what courage, uh, steadfastness, commitment, and fealty to their oaths to serve our community's needs. This fire was reported at 6.12 p.m., right in the middle of rush hour, on March 30th. By 6.20, this team was on site addressing the issue. Governor uh, Nathan Deal also deserves some credit because he has, as a matter of policy, pre-positioned uh, state troopers around I-85 to move any traffic uh, incident right out of the way, so that helped a great deal. By 7 o'clock, the bridge had collapsed. By 8 o'clock, these brave men, uh, leaders of their own communities, basically had the fire under control. The U.S. Department of Transportation was on site, uh, and we worked hand in hand with these great heroes, and as you mentioned, $10 million from your administration went out within one hour of the governor making this request. The good story following all of this is also that the repair and recovery of this whole scene will occur very quickly. You will like them because they will come in under budget and uh, on time. That's good. I love to hear the words <laughs> under budget and <laughs> under schedule, right? <laughs> we used to call it ahead of schedule. Now we say under schedule, but that'd be that'd be great. And I have to tell you, uh, Governor Nathan Deal did call me immediately after, as this was happening, and he sort of said, "Could you be ready? Because we're going to need some emergency money fast." And we were ready, and we got him the money immediately. And uh, again, we want to thank everybody in the room very much. And uh, Secretary, congratulations. Not at all. Uh, again, I told them that you were really approachable and that you would enjoy meeting them so much. Uh, they were a little bit apprehensive about meeting you, so they're just so thrilled. And uh, Chief Baker and also um, Chief Bryant, uh, these are the two leaders here. Right. They both said what an honor it is uh, to be at the White House, to be with you. And you have done the uh, first responder community uh, a tremendous honor by honoring them. And they want to make sure, because they're saying that you are sending a message to all the first responders that you value them. So, Chief Bryant, why don't you say that to the president? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was sharing with her, uh, Mr. President, that this is, this is not only a great day for the city of Atlanta, Atlanta Fire Rescue Department. But it's a great day for all of the public safety uh, personnel throughout the country, which include Department of Fire, uh, Police, State Patrols throughout the country, Correction Department, but all of public safety really appreciate the opportunity that you're recognizing public safety uh, members. It's, it's well, Chief, I have great respect for the people that do what you do. It's amazing bravery, and the speed is incredible. So I just, again, I want to thank you. And I think what we'll do is when we're finished here, we'll talk. And then, unless you don't want to do this, but I know you do, we'll go right across the hall to the Oval Office. We'll have some yeah. pictures. Is that okay, the Oval Office? It is, believe me, I've been in a lot of good offices. <laughs> it is a special <laughs> office, okay? Yes, sir. So we'll go over there. We'll take some pictures, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you all very much. Thank you.